Welcome back to another classic game room lap of awesome where I'm driving in Gran Turismo 6 using the Thrustmaster T300 RS and my Red God of War PlayStation 3 with the power of Kratos and ripping the wings off of things and poking the eyeballs out of stuff. That's right. I've been having a lot of fun playing driving games lately and thought it would be neat to uh, throw it out there on Twitter. You call the car and the track. I will attempt to drive it, and a number of requests came in. The first one was from Racer Best, who suggested the AE86 Shuichi Shigeno Edition in... Is that the Nor Nordschleife? The Nürburgring? Hopefully I pronounced some of that correctly. And I noticed this is your avatar, too. This car is your avatar, Racer Best. Claiming to be the best racer. Well, I am not, however, I did manage to pull off a pretty nice lap here, my third try. This is uh, arguably the most challenging course in the Gran Turismo games. It's uh, pretty lengthy with a lot of tough corners and it's a rough road when you play with the wheel. This is not a smooth drive. I'm used to driving this in much, much faster cars. In fact, I just got my ass handed to me last night on this track in one of the uh, 700 level cars in Gran Turismo 6, where I actually blew the entire championship because I caught an edge and just spun out instantly. So this is a far more relaxed drive. This car is actually pretty peppy and handles quite well. Sadly, it doesn't have the fully detailed interior in Gran Turismo 6. It just has the simple interior, which translates to no interior. So I go with this view, which reminds me of my many, many, many years playing Gran Turismo 4. So, Racer Best, thank you for the suggestion. Good call on this one. I, I enjoyed this drive. Took three laps to get a good clean one. And you may notice that I, I had a little bit of contact with the wall in an earlier lap which uh, would have vaporized this car in real life. But thankfully, this is a video game and not real life. Now, the key to getting through this track, in my opinion, is not crashing. And the, um, there you go. I think that's, that's how you win. You, you, drive, you drive fast and you don't run into anything. Now, I'm not that familiar with it, but this, this car is best known for those downhill Japanese drifting races, right? Like Tokyo Extreme Drift. I, I believe this is also the car from Initial D, which is a manga and a video game based on Japanese street racing. This thing handles pretty well, though. It's, uh, it's light, and you can feel that it's light with the wheel. Like I said before, I was driving some of the heavier cars like a Lamborghini Aventador and it just really weights down that wheel, but something like this is just like a feather. This thing just bounces around the track. Unlike that uh, GT car I was driving last night, that was a disaster. I got through, uh, it was like the, that last championship in Gran Turismo. I got through the uh, first three races in first place and then just just wiped out on, on this one. I was trying to capture with my camera actually what the wheel is doing on this road and, and how much force feedback it's throwing it's throwing at you or throwing at me. It's, it's not so bad here with this car, but you drive one of those faster ones with the tighter suspension, wow, it's, it's all over the place. I've said it before and I'll say it again, for a PlayStation 3 game, I think Gran Turismo 6 looks absolutely remarkable. And I felt, it, I felt like it was a shame when this was released that it didn't come out on the PlayStation 4, but uh, we are getting a PlayStation 4 GT soon. Hopefully it'll be good. I mean, I've, I've always enjoyed the series. I'm not sure which one is my favorite. Maybe Gran Turismo 2, maybe GT4, GT3. I had fun with all those. And this one is an improvement over Gran Turismo 5, for sure. 
But here we're getting to what in my mind is the second part of the track, which I think is a little bit easier than uh, the first half. So once I hit this corner, I, I know that I'm past all of the places where I obviously fly off the road. And I come down here and try to hit this little thing here because I, it's kind of neat and just reminds me of spaceships taking off in Battlestar Galactica or something and shoot out of here, hoping to crush some Cylons with my, uh, what is this? Is this a Toyota? I think this is a Toyota. I don't even know. It shows what I know. If it's not an El Camino, I don't care. Anyway, I come flying out of that thing. And I try not to hit the brakes too hard on this section. I like to just roll through this if possible and hammer the gas and then not jam on the brakes too hard. I don't want to slow down. I want to, I want to get as much, get through here, which is with as much speed as possible. And, um, I've never actually slowed down to read the graffiti. I, I, I'm not sure what it says. With any luck, it says, I love Truxton. In fact, uh, someone, if you're listening, if you get a chance to um, deface the Nürburgring someday, write I love Truxton for me, please. Thank you. And then let's get that in a game. Like, get it, get it really big, too. So it sort of spreads out over a mile. Like, I love Truxton. And you see it clearly when you're doing 200 miles an hour. So, racer best. How am I doing? I like this car. This car's nice. I, uh, this is a stock configuration. I didn't tune it or anything. There's nothing fancy going on here. I just uh, bought the car and tore through the race. And uh, well, I've driven this this track countless times. I'm, I've never fully, fully memorized it. And, and also, it throws me when I go from say this car into a, like a car that's twice as fast because all the stuff I just memorized for this car doesn't doesn't seem to apply like the braking is totally different and I have to hit the corners differently <laughs> but uh, this one's pretty simple it's a nice peppy car I, I kind of like this thing I could go I could go for one of these in real life it's a good grocery getter not as good as the El, El Camino but this one doesn't have machine guns either so if you're if you're listening um, and you have Twitter Shoot me some suggestions. I, uh, I'm not sure if I can do all of them, but I uh, did do another one with an M3 on Autumn Mini after this. And Alan from the Alan 9000 suggested the El Camino in Atlanta. And um, actually, I'm drawing a blank if that track is in this game or not. I get these all confused sometimes. But I, I will certainly... Uh, oh, here we go. Changing some camera perspectives. I will certainly uh, drive the El Camino in something for you, Alan. I, dro I drove it in a different race and recorded it. I'm not sure if I posted it yet, where it was the El Camino versus a bunch of classic cars, and I took out a, a GT40. Now, now, mind you, I really souped up that El Camino, but also it's an El Camino, so it has the power of magic and hauls alligators, girls, and kegs of beer. It's quite a vehicle. Here we, here we go. Breaking the sound barrier at 147. 140, <laughs> I was just driving this last night at like 2.30... 235, any, any, um, anything is going to throw that car off the track at that point and cause, cause, uh, cause you to lose that race. <laughs> but uh, there we go. So send me some more suggestions on Twitter of car and lap combinations, and I'll see what I can work into the schedule. This has been fun playing with the Thrustmaster and GT6, and I'm also going to be recording some laps from Drive Club and Dirt Rally as well. See you soon. Thanks. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From... New Jersey! Michael Fernandez! People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver! Woo! Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia! Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna, Austria! Austria. Cue the thunder! Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Cue the lava. 
I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh hi, Kanye. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, fighter of space bees. Woo! Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Nelson. fighters of the future. That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout, Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud, and the party rocking, for... Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular. Will. Will. Will? Will? Will. Will.